So hello everyone, welcome to Python Academy. And today we will start very interesting topic that is machine learning. Now you are saying that everybody is talking about the machine learning. So I thought that the, this is very important topic to for the discussion uh, in this complete series of lectures. Okay. So let's start with the content. So basically we'll start with the what is machine learning. Then what is the difference between traditional programming and the machine learning programming? And that we need to understand uh, in this lecture very carefully. Okay. After that, we'll start with what is mean by artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the deep learning. You might be know the, all these three things, but you did not to know uh, that what is the difference of these three things. Okay. So today we will clear that what is mean by artificial intelligence and what is mean by machine learning okay then we'll see how the machine learning works okay and then we'll come to machine learning types then what are the prerequisites if you start your career if you want to start your career in the machine learning then what is the prerequisites uh, for that okay and then we'll see the application of machine learning okay so definitely there is a huge machine learning applications in the industry okay so let's start with the basic definition that is what is mean by machine learning. So let's see here. Machine learning works on the development of a computer program that can access data and use it to automatically learn and improve from the experience. Okay. So if you see this definition very carefully, so you might be observed that there is a one word development of a computer program. So everybody is doing a computer program nowadays. So what is in the development part? Okay, what is in the development in the computer program that we need to understand first. Okay, and the machine learning uh, definition is very, very simple. That is machine learning access the data and automatically learn from that data. Okay, so definitely data is the experience part for the machine learning. Okay, as we know as a human, we experience lots of things uh, day to day life. Okay. So that is the data for us. This everyday experience is the data for us. Like that for the computer, whatever the data we are giving to the computer, that data might be a 10 years data, 50 years data or very huge amount of data, whatever it is. Okay. That data machine use for the machine learning purpose. Okay. So we'll see. First of all, just clear these uh, things. What is mean by traditional programming thing and what is mean by machine learning? What is the difference? Okay. So in the traditional programming, you might be know that you are just giving the data to the any program and the rules means what are the operation you want to perform on that data. Okay. That is the input in any programming language. Okay. In any program, whatever the program you are doing and you will get the answer. Okay, so here just see this example, your data is 6 and 4 and the rules is plus. It means that you want to do the sum of these two numbers, 6 and 4 and your answer is 10. So this is the traditional program, you can write any program, uh, program for this work. Okay, that program might be in the C language, Python, Java, anything. Okay, so that program will do addition for you. Okay, if you change the data, you will get the different answer as per the data. The rules are same. Okay, so this is the traditional programming. Now, what is the ML? Okay, what is mean by machine learning? Now, the difference is in the input part. Okay, in the last traditional programming, the input is data as well as rules. What are the operation you want to perform in the data? Okay, but in the machine learning, you can see here, answer and data means you need to give the data as an input and the answer and machine will learn what rules are applied on the data okay just see this example if you put 6 and 4 and if you put answer 10 to the machine then machine came to know that the addition is performed on this data okay means what machine learning did machine learning did the pattern recognition. What are the patterns? What are the rules applied on the data to generate this result? Okay. So 10. So this data might be a huge data. Okay. So 
there might be a flaw, uh, means plus operation, addition operation, subtraction operation. So there are number of pairs of data and answers. Data and answers you need to give to this machine learning model, and machine learning will understand it and generate a, uh, a learned model from this data. Okay, and that learned model basically gives you the rules. What are the relation between the data and the answer part? Okay. So basically in the machine learning, we follow some terminologies like these data uh, are called X data, okay, and this data are called Y data. Y data is nothing but a dependent data. This data is depend on this data. Means X data is the independent data and Y data is the dependent data. This answer is depend on this, okay. Now what are the rules applied on this data that you will get? after machine learning okay means you need to uh, understand what is the relation between x and y values okay and this is called the machine learning point okay so this is the uh, very little discussion about the machine learning machine learning is a very huge um, can i say very huge concept that we need to understand one by one okay so uh, let's assume this means you might be know this device this is very popular device by amazon uh, that is Amazon Echo. So generally we kept our uh, 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 one secretary or the manager to uh, perform some task for us. Okay. So might be a, you are a very big personality, you are a celebrity. So you have some uh, managers or you have some secretary and that performs a task as per the understanding. Means if you want to go any, anywhere into the city, so uh, your secretary or your manager will book a cab for you okay and he used his brain to book a cab okay if you want to eat something so your secretary uh, uh, will uh, order us some pizza from the dominoes and your secretary or your manager whatever it is uh, he know very well what is your favorite dish from the dominoes okay so instead of this uh, human being you can use this Amazon Eco device, which is completely rely on a machine learning and which we, uh, he will provide, this machine will provide everything, whatever the uh, task performed by your secretary or your manager for you. Okay. So if you want to listen any favorite, your favorite music, so you need to give some command like uh, Alexa please play my favorite music so alexa came to know that which one is your favorite mu uh, music uh, depends on your previous uh, input okay means if you are uh, means if you are a fan of a kishore kumar and you always prefer to listen a song of kishore kumar then definitely amazon Echo plays kishore kumar song for you okay if you are uh, asking uh, pizza from the dominoes which is generally a farmhouse pizza or uh, margarita or any corn, CC corn pizza. So definitely Amazon Echo orders same pizza for you for your next command. Okay, means Amazon uh, Echo learn itself. Okay, according to your behavior, your previous command. Okay, and it becomes more accurate day by day. Okay, so this is a very fantastic device and you might be uh, see different videos related to Amazon Vicos on YouTube. So I suggest you to see that video. Okay. So let's uh, have a dip important discussion about AI versus machine learning versus deep learning. Many of the people has a confusion on AI and ML. Both are different or both are same and that we need to clear in this slide okay so basically we'll start with a uh, artificial intelligence and the basic definition of artificial artificial intelligence means it's a mimic of human behavior means you need to copy the human the human activities the human uh, thinking you need to copy it okay and if you able to copy the human then definitely you can say that you achieve the artificial intelligence Okay, means it enables, artificial intelligence enables machine to think. Okay, up till now, the only human can think, but after the artificial intelligence, machine can also think. 
so the definition of artificial uh, intelligence is pretty clear okay means mimic a human behavior you can uh, say that any robot like that a robot is in america you can say that it is the example of artificial intelligence because uh, she uh, responds on any answer or any questions okay so she has a capability to think what is the answer of that question but still the 100% artificial intelligence achievement is a very difficult task okay so let's see the some example ibm deep blue, deep blue chase is a very good example of arti artificial intelligence and there is a very interesting story behind the ibm deep blue chase okay guys if you put this uh, ibm deep blue chase in google and you just uh, read that story that read story by the ibm which uh, is very important and very famous story okay and the electronic games characters are also the you can say that it's a artificial intelligence development okay so let's uh, move to the machine learning now what is mean by machine learning machine learning is the statistical method okay the machine learning technique which uses the statistical method and enables machine to learn from the past data so basically in the machine learning you need to use the statistical method means you need to use the mathematical functions mathematical operation uh, to achieve the machine learning uh, task okay so let's uh, see that uh, the defi simple definition about machine learning is that it's a statistical tool to explore and analysis the data okay basically machine learning has a different uh, types okay so there is a supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning and reinforcement machine learning so uh, guys there are basically means in uh, 1980s or 1970s you can see only two names supervised learning and unsupervised learning after that it came that uh, there is a reinforcement learning also okay basically uh, the reinforcement learning is also called as a semi uh, supervised learning okay and that we will see in the next part of this video before that the definition of machine learning is that you need to use the statistical method that enables machine to learn from the data okay and that is very uh, clear definition about the machine learning so basically ibm watson ibm watson is again a uh, chat window so you can use this ibm watson uh, and that is very um, famous chat box nowadays okay and then google search algorithm is also the example of machine learning email spam filtering okay so how google came to know that this mail is spam mail or this mail is good mail okay and that is also uh, relies on machine learning okay so behind uh, uh, your mail there is a lots of analysis done by the google that the this email is contain some uh, vulgar words or some bad information or some uh, untrusted source so okay so that is analyzed by the google before uh, sending any mail okay that's why this email spam filtering is also the very good example of machine learning okay after that we'll see what is mean by deep learning deep learning is again a subset of machine learning and it's a very complex part okay why it is complex so basically why deep learning came into the picture that we need to understand okay so the main idea behind the deep learning is mimic a human brain okay so uh, just clear this definition guys artificial intelligence means mimic a human okay and deep learning means mimic a human brain okay not complete a human just a human brain and now you know that very complex part of human is its brain okay so brain is very complex and you need to implement the brain you need to implement uh, mimic the brain using the deep learning okay and it uh, uses very composing algorithm that allows model to train itself and perform a task basically your brain uh, uh, train itself every time every day your brain functionality is working 
like that in deep learning also everything is learning itself okay and that we will see in the next deep learning video that is a special video i will uh, made for you guys after some time and in that we will see what is meant by deep learning in details okay so before that just uh, how machine can learn actually the human thinks okay means how the human thinks like that machine also can think okay and for that we need to mimic the human brain that is the basic idea of before uh, behind the deep learning and deep learning also uh, uh, different types like ann cnn rnn okay so ann is uh, means uh, ann means the artificial neural network cnn means convolution neural network and rnn is rnn means recurrent on uh, recurrent neural network okay so basic this types of uh, deep learning algorithm based on the input type of a data okay if your input is image type then definitely you can use cnn convolution neural network to process that data okay just see the example alpha go alpha go is a very good game that is a very complex game and that is implemented using the deep learning okay speech natural speech recognition guys this is also a very good application of deep learning because speech recognition still a complex task because every time you are modulation in the voice is down and up in every second okay and that is why that is why uh, the recognize the song uh, the speech is very difficult okay and that's why the deep learning came into the picture okay so guys next slide and this is very important slide how the machine learning works okay so basically uh, you have the input data that data might be a uh, years of data 10 years data 20 years data and you need to give this data okay uh, uh, this is the training data basically this training data you need to give to any machine learning algorithm there are several machine learning algorithm that algorithm will process your data and generate one learn model okay this model now know what are the relation between the data okay so now if then you give the new data as an input to this model definitely this model gives you the prediction now there are two uh, things if the prediction is correct then definitely your result is okay okay no issue in that but if your result is wrong then you need to rerun uh, retrain your algorithm okay and that's why this process is the ongoing process every time you need to uh, learn your model okay with the different kind of data or you can say that different new data okay so guys this is up till now we'll see uh, we have seen that how the machine learning works okay in the next lecture we'll see what is the different types of machine learning till date uh, this is some information about our academy that uh, we have the our academy uh, related to python data science machine learning in the hyderabad nagpur and you can say that raipur you can join our classroom training program uh, in these cities also we provide the online coaching for python data science and machine learning okay so you can find more information about all the courses on www.pythonacademy.in okay or you can call us okay for the more details and definitely we will help you okay so have a great day guys and thank you everyone